Hey, welcome back to Feral Art. The, the month is almost over and I'm almost too late, but not quite edition. Um, I was talking back and forth with my friend Lynn, who expressed a desire to see some um, PTSD representation during this month, which is also PTSD month as well as Pride month. So, I thought I'd give it a shot, and then my tripod broke, and so we are sort of playing with a uh, improvised tripod situation here. So, um, today we're working with a what do we got here? A twenty-two by twenty-eight edge canvas it's the inch and a half deep version so let's get down the canvas and we'll talk about what we're gonna do okay this is about as good as it's gonna get um i know i'll be out of frame for parts of this but you know you work with what you got and today this is what we have so um i thought that I would do another swipe um, on a background of ring pores that have been skewed and slewed about because I really like the look of it that. So teal is the color of PTSD representation. So we are going to try for that as soon as I get this straightened out. So I have my four chamber mixed media girl split cup, which is my favorite split cup. For our ring pours, we will be using Amsterdam titanium white and Liquitex Basics dioxazine purple so of course I've got this huge thing to pour out of we're gonna make our first and third chambers white and our second and fourth chambers purple I'm gonna pour into a puddle of white, I suppose. Let me just move that around a little bit. So, for this canvas, we need approximately 22 ounces of paint. These are about nine ounces. So if I do a couple of these, we'll be in pretty good shape. So we're just gonna start off in the middle here.
All right, so I did a couple of test swipes on a tile just to see what this might look like. And it looked kind of cool, so we're gonna give it a shot. We have Pebeo iridescent silver. We have um, this, I believe is dark green permanent from Liquitex Basics mixed with a little black. This is, I believe, the same color mixed with a little white. And this, I believe, is mostly Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. As you see, we are once again working with the ever-present leftovers. All right, so where are we going to go from and where are we going to go to? I think we're gonna start down here. And we're just gonna do some bloppities. The silver, the dark, light and the metallic and so today our cell activator is Amsterdam Expert Acrylic Series uh, Permanent Blue Violet Opaque and the usual suspect of Amsterdam Perfume One. So, I'm gonna do this. I don't really wanna do it over my camera. And then I'm going to put down some more of the colors.
Now, I think that is right cool. I even like this big dark place in the center. I think that's really cool. It's got some purple veining in it. I'm gonna bring it back down just, I'm gonna take it up a little more and then I'm gonna bring it back down. Quit rubbing up against my paper towel. Okay, I think that is cool. Okay, wet results. We can have them. I am way up in the air because this is a way small screen. <laughs> okay. Got some really nice things going on here. This is my nod to PTSD month. The color for PTSD is teal. So I have made this sort of garbled ring pour background with this swoosh of teal teals and silver through it not in a straight line not corner to corner not in any discernible real pattern and that is by design PTSD is, as the name implied, a stress response, a trauma response, is what I meant to say. That trauma is always in the background, right? And so you have to learn to deal with it. You have to come up with coping mechanisms. So that's what this signifies. I will be back with dry results. 
Here are the dried results of my PTSD representation painting. I think it turned out pretty well. I love, love the purple and white disrupted background. And my lacing came out really well. The lines came out really well. The teal is, again, the representational color of PTSD. I really liked using the cell activator I used. It seemed to work very well. I'm glad I used the silver. I was going to use gold and just decided that silver was probably the better way to go. I do have this weird little drip in here. Didn't notice it until it was already partially dry and didn't dare mess with it. So that can just be our, our disruption and our disruption. So anyway, there is our PTSD representation painting. I think it's pretty neat. And I hope that if you suspect you may have PTSD, you'll find yourself the help that you need. That's what it's all about, folks, is helping ourselves. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you next time.